Nationwide, thousands of teenagers become the victim of sexual assault every year. According to a national survey conducted by the Centers for Disease Control, more than 40% of female victims were sexually assaulted before the age of 18. In addition, almost 30% were first assaulted between the ages of 11 and 17. Now, in an attempt to educate students on the subject of sexual assault, the Texas Education Agency is launching a project next year that will use coaches to get the word out. CBS 7's Lauren Landman joins us now. Lauren, what's the idea behind the project? Jay Tatum, we've all seen the headlines recently of professional athletes getting caught on the wrong side of the law in some sort of sexual assault or domestic violence case. These headlines are what caught the TEA's attention and pushed them to make a change, starting with our youth. Out on the field, it's mostly tough love coming from the coaches. But in just a few months, those leaders will be taking their athletes out of their element to face one of their biggest opponents yet. I think it's a... Uh a pretty good situation for us to be able to sit down with our kids. It's a project called Protect Her and will focus on educating athletes about sexual assault. Anytime you're talking about an issue such as sexual abuse and, and of that nature and dating abuse, uh, I think a little time off the field is uh, pretty much uh, acceptable. The project comes at a time when professional athletes like Jameis Winston you know, uh, thank you for accepting me as your quarterback right now. and Floyd Mayweather he almost controls his own destiny. Two men both accused of serious sexual assault cases are praised and put in the limelight for their accomplishments. I feel like, you know, with what's been going on in the NFL, you know, uh, a, a lot of kids feel like that might be the correct thing in society and how to treat women, and it's not. Leaders of the project say that's exactly what pushed them to start the program. Protect Her will provide coaches with all the resources they need to teach the more than 800,000 athletes in Texas, men and women, to be better leaders when they graduate. We're going to do what's necessary in order to get these young men to do the right thing. The resources coaches will use will be put together this summer, then distributed to the schools across the state. All funding for the materials will be raised privately. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Lauren Landman, CBS 7 News.